Hey everyone, welcome back to Callie and Bean's Books. I'm Brittany and today I'm going to be doing kind of a TBR video. I know I touch on my future reading list at the end of my book corners, but I'm going to go into a little bit more in depth on my plans. Finishing out reading the fairy tale retellings that I have on my list of reads. So currently I'm reading A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Mass. This is the third of the Akotar series and oh boy. Callison did warn me how much of an emotional roller coaster the this series is but wow I am all about it I absolutely love the journey that Farrah has been going on I love all of the characters except for a select few that I won't name because that's kind of going into spoilers I'm slowly getting my way through this book and it's a very fast-paced story so I'm hopefully going to be finishing it up this week I don't know. We'll see. So going back into my fairy tale retellings, my plan is to finish up the Lunar Chronicles. So we started the series with Cinder, and this was the Cinderella retelling that kind of kicked off the entire Lunar Chronicles series. And if you guys remember, I gave this a four out of five. I absolutely adore this story. I love everything about it. Um, there were a couple of moments where I thought it was a little slower or just didn't need to be included. And there's a lot of predictability when it comes to it. But overall, I really did enjoy the retelling aspect of it. The sequel is Scarlet, and this is a Little Red Riding Hood retelling. And based on what I was told from Callison and Sarah, we're not getting a lot of the answers from Cinder, we're getting introduced to a brand new character and a brand new part of the story. So I'm interested to see where this part of the, the Lunar Chronicles goes, but I'm really excited about it too, just because I haven't seen a lot of Little Red Riding Hood retelling, so I'm really interested to see what Marissa Meyer does with the story. And the third one is Cress, and we're actually introduced to Cress in Cinder, and this is a Rapunzel retelling, so I'm really interested to see where that twist goes because Rapunzel is one of my favorites. And then the finale is Winter, which is a Snow White retelling. I'm really looking forward to diving into the rest of the Lunar Chronicles. It's probably going to be the next series I finish out after I finish Aquawar. Now I'm going to jump into the Twisted Tales. There's really no rhyme or reason on how I'm doing the Twisted Tales. It's basically just going in publication order from now on because the only two that I've read so far were Liz Braswell's As Old As Time and Once Upon a Dream. The first one I'll be doing is Liz Braswell's a whole new world and this one is a twist on what if Aladdin never found the lamp so we're following all the main characters still we're just introduced to them at different moments and we're kind of seeing what the story would have been like if Aladdin didn't find the lamp. The next one is by Elizabeth Lim and that is Reflection and this is a Mulan retelling and this is what if Mulan has to travel to the underworld. I'm really intrigued by this story and I love Elizabeth Lim's writing style so I'm really excited to see where this goes. The next Rissa tale is Part of Your World by Liz Braswell and this is a Little Mermaid retelling and it is what if Ariel never defeated Ursula and we're following 10 years after the events of The Little Mermaid and seeing where the world is and what's next for the characters. So after part of your world, I'm going to be jumping into Mirror Mirror by Jen Kalanita and this is a Snow White retelling and this is what if the evil queen poisoned the prince instead of Snow White. Snow White's not one of my favorites so it's really exciting having another Snow White retelling seeing what this princess will do instead of the original story. I know that's one of my favorite things about princess retellings is when the princess has more of a personality and does more than just what her original character was set out to do. So I'm really excited to see what the story does for the original. So the next one I'm really excited about and that's Conceal Don't Feel by Jen Kalanita and that is a Frozen retelling. The twist is what if Elsa and Anna never knew each other? I think that it is a fantastic twist and I'm really interested to see what the author does with this story. So the last three of the Twisted Tales that I'm going to talk about, the first two came out earlier this year and the last one is actually an anticipated read for September, so one month and it's out. The first one being Straight On Till Morning by Liz Braswell and the twist is what if Wendy first traveled to Neverland with Captain Hook instead of Peter Pan. The second one that came out this year was So This Is Love by Elizabeth Lim and this is a Cinderella retelling. This is what if Cinderella never tried on the glass slipper. So she isn't swiftly made into a princess and is actually stuck still under her stepmother's rule. To escape it, she actually goes to work in the castle as a seamstress. So the final twisted tale that I'm going to mention today comes out September 1st and this one is Unbirthday by Liz Braswell and this is a Alice in Wonderland retelling. What if Wonderland is in trouble and Alice is 
very, very late. And I'm really intrigued by this one as well. I know I keep saying I'm intrigued by all of them. Let's be real. They're all intriguing because I love Twisted Tales. I just feel like when it comes to Alice in Wonderland retellings, you get more of like the Queen of Hearts or a story based on the Queen of Hearts. You don't necessarily get an Alice in Wonderland retelling. So I'm really interested to see how this story shapes out to be. I really hope that a lot of these live up to the hype that I'm giving them because the first two that I've read, they weren't bad by any means. They were good. They weren't great. So I'm really hoping that the more I read them, the more I'm actually going to enjoy them because there are some moments in the two that I have read where they're just too dark or it's too outside of what the original story was. I love Disney movies. I'm re-watching them from the beginning. So part of reading these retellings goes back to me re-watching all the Disney movies. So a lot of them are fresh in my mind. So reading these retellings is going to be really interesting, kind of seeing where the author goes from the original stories. After I finish up the Lunar Chronicles and the Twisted Tales, I've got Throne of Glass on the back burner, slowly collecting those books and slowly getting into that series a little bit more in full. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Throne of Glass, but it didn't leave off on this huge cliffhanger where I need all of the answers right away. It's definitely one where I know I'm going to space out and read as I get them and read when I don't have something that I know I'm dying to get my hands on. So wrapping everything up today, I have a loose plan on where I'm going with my fairy tale retellings. I want to finish up the Lunar Chronicles and then finish up the Disney Twisted Tales. I'm really excited on where my reading is headed and I can't wait to tell you all about it later. Be sure to follow us on our Goodreads accounts and Instagram. All of our links will be in the description below. If you're interested, our Serpent and Badger book club is hosted on Goodreads as well. And of course, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So until next time, bye.